Candida Hofer has seen and photographed a lot in four decades. Her photos have been described as opulent, pristine, and minimalist. I want people to be amazed by the places I have photographed. And maybe through my photos, they can have the same feelings I had while taking them. There's little doubt about that. These photographs, these architecture photographs, uh, like divine interiors almost, are kind of her first trademark. They're so uh, clean and perfect that uh, with her uh, skill, with her masterful skills, you can see each and every detail in uh, every photograph. On display here are a selection of Hoffer's interior photographs of public and private buildings like libraries, museums, and concert halls, all shot over her 40-year career. The one thing noticeably absent in these images, people. She is actually interested in uh, the fact that people are using these spaces, but uh, she thinks she doesn't need to show people uh, to show the strength of the buildings. But people are central to her work. Hofer took great interest in Turkish migrants in 1970s Germany. Early in her career, she photographed a series called Turks in Germany and then traveled to Turkey in a Mini Cooper for another series called Turks in Turkey. I live in Cologne and after, after a, a while I, I, I realized that many uh, suburbs changed and uh, I liked how it changed. And then, of course, I realized that the, the Turkish gastarbeiter uh, brought uh, other things to Germany, uh, vegetable, fish, fruits, and, and also the restaurants. Jaren Erdem believes this mutual respect allows Hofer's work to stand the test of time. The important thing is actually she did those photographs when, you know, the people were uh, forced to, in some ways, to integrate to German culture, and she photographed them as, uh, uh, like, very naturally. Naturally, Hofer says she's more in her element working behind the camera than in front of it. Adel Halim, TRT World, Istanbul.